Morning guys, today we're going to be uh, putting the steers back on the side. It's first order of business. Got to remove this wire. Cows here doing cow things, uh, but water's getting colder, so we gotta put this out. Reached, uh, right now, it's probably, I think, maybe 11 degrees out. My hand is freezing just holding this camera, but we gotta put these out. And sometimes they do freeze today, they not actually, so it must be, I think, 11 degrees out. It's a little warmer than it was a couple days ago. A couple days ago, it was almost close to zero at nighttime, so. Even the, even the bedding's froze out there. But inside here, we put, we just put, uh, I don't know if you can see it down there. Maybe I can just pull it up for a second. A heater inside of here because there's not enough cattle to move this water around throughout the day. So it always freezes up. So uh, now it's starting to defreeze. Oh, this side's frozen, this side's not. So hopefully that keeps this one uh, actually kind of unfrozen. As you can see, the sides are very frozen. But uh, we got two head of cattle in here, one steer and one uh, one heifer. And uh, why, I mean, you asked why we got only got one steer and one heifer? Because if we only put one heifer in here, she would get, uh, she would get like, if like if you were in a pen alone for 24 hours, seven days a week, uh, for the next two months, you would get kind of lonely and whatnot. So you put the other one in here to kind of comfort her and uh, so she doesn't move all the time. And it's just better for the cow, so that's why we have two. So, yeah. So guys, now we only have two cows in here. Both of them are heifers. Uh, so, I mean, that's not as cool, but we won't have to feed them for a week because we got, you know, so much bedding down. And uh, hey, so the rest of the cows you might be asking where they are. Well, they're up by the steers getting fattened up with uh, silage and corn. See, there are a bunch of them. I think there's about probably close to 20 of them on this side. There's another uh, 20, 30, maybe even 40 cows on this side. And then we got two in here. So we almost got about 80 head in here, close to it. So uh, pretty cool. So, but it's kind of sad we only have two in here. So it's a pretty short video. So uh, that's about it. So. I got to throw the salt out. Boys, we ran into a little problem. We don't got much cat food left. We got a lot of kitties. I think we got some more cat food in the milk cups. Tell the truth. Well, that is a minor problem. Huh. Well, it looks like cats ain't getting fed. Like, tomorrow? Unless we get some cat food today, but who the hell is going to go up in the day? I don't know. Huh? Huh? I don't know what to do. Oh no, it's just really foggy. I think that's just my glasses. Oh, good morning. I can't see landing right now. I think this is frozen. Yeah, 
better put a little bit of water on top. The boy's still pretty cold out here. Uh, but I have made an important investment right now. And it's going to help us a lot. And you might just see because I have the camera pointed down. I got salt. Road salt. So now we're going to sprinkle some of this. And some of these parts are a little more slick. So grab it on fall on his butt. Hopefully that makes a difference before he does slip and fall one day and I'm not here. He's stuck on the ground. The guy don't have a cell phone either because he doesn't believe in that. And he just spots a mist. And it also goes up by the shed too, or uh, you ever need it up by the shed. So, important investments have been made today. Mark that down in the book. This is the best idea I've ever had in a while. It's probably noon right now. I'm supposed to go help Landon cut down some trees out in the woods. I'm not sure. He hasn't called me yet. So, yeah. Me and the old trail boss putting in the work though. Not Landon. He's sitting at home. Probably, probably taking a nap. Not me, though. It's pretty warm in here. So, you guys, that's it for today. I hope I'll catch you in the next one.